chickens. I seriously need to take that chicken farm down soon. Hello, 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 this is JCPenny190, welcoming all of you faithful viewers back to yet another episode of Minecraft Single Player Survival. And in this episode, this is going to be sort of a treat ish dealio. I don't know if it's going to be a treat or what it really is, but I got really inspired and I decided to do a single player. Even though I was planning on doing single player anyways, I decided to put off the other project I was going to do, which I might still do in another, I'm probably going to do in another episode, and I'm going to do a different project instead, which is, as you can see from the materials I might have, and I'm sure as I'm harvesting, I need to get find a place for more of these bands. Um, I'm going to be working on some more external roads, although I need to grab some oak wood and some leaves to build a tree. What kind of a tree, you ask? I have no kind of clue what kind of tree it's going to be. Of course, it's going to be an oak tree. Well, rather, like, it's going to be a custom tree, but it's going to be a special tree. Um, if any of you have read the actual Lord of the Rings books, they have a party tree. It's basically a tree that they all gather around and dance around and party around for parties in, in uh, Hobbiton. We're going to be putting that tree right out there, and I'm going to be building more roads around it here. Actually, let me show you. I wonder, I had a chest over Did I have a chest over here? I just want to put a chest over here. Road materials. Those aren't the actual names. I'm actually going to change that, and I need to get more spruce slabs. I just want to put on a chest for road materials somewhere. Whatever the case, let me grab some more spruce slabs, and then we can get to work on it. I should actually, I'll actually, how much actual wood do I have? Ooh, here, I'm hurting in the oak wood department. It's not good. Might as well just make a ton of spruce wood. Slabs, use that. Actually, I'm just, I'm going to overload my inventory with slabs. I think that has more slabs than a person is meant to carry on them at one time. I really only need like 64 though. I can actually put all the doors and stuff on that side. So... I'm gonna have like a crossroads thing. Here, I'll show you what my plan is. Need to get better tools too, but that's going to be part of what we're doing. Uh, maybe later this episode, probably not, since this is going to be a big project or a decent sized project, kind of just like a special thing that I thought would look really nice in the world. So the wheat fields they may extend this far, but they'll probably not. <laughs> As you can see here, yeah, this actually comes together really good. So this road is going to go a little bit more in this direction, but it could connect up with this road right here. They're going to form kind of a triangle thing. A little pointless, but you can actually just choose whichever way you want to go on the road. In the middle, we are going to build a really cool tree. So, just wanted to tell you what we're doing. I'm going to continue with the roads, and um, then when you get back to I'll probably either be done with them, or almost done with them, or just doing a progress update on them. Whatever the case, we will be further along on the roads, and we might even be ready to start building the tree. Just want to tell you that, and um, I'm going to pause right here. Uh, do I want to do ability talk? Yeah, I just did one of those on realms. If you guys don't enjoy my realms, or if you guys don't watch my realm series, you should at least watch that one episode, because we talked about a lot of stuff that's important, not only for realms, but for the channel. So yeah, I will see you guys in a second. Up as soon as I s start recording. Shoo. Shoo, sheep. Don't either don't bother me or do that weird spinny thing so I can make a gif out of it. Alright, road is actually done, but it's getting nighttime. I like this road thing. I mean, the colors are kind of weird. Don't act, they don't generally necessarily look like they would go together. <laughs> Although, I think they actually go together quite nicely, so I need to light this part of the road up, which won't be an issue. I am going to do hidden lighting, I have decided that. For the wheat fields, the lighting is already just kind of out there. <laughs> so it doesn't necessarily have to be hidden in that case. But uh, for this area, I'm going to do a lot of hidden lighting, and I might even drop a few pieces of glowstone, or maybe even start redstone lamps go uh, very well with wood texture, so I could hide some of those in the tree. 
probably just go with glowstone. So, yeah, like, I'm gonna have a nice little, oh, and, um, not just that, um, I'll have, like, a few bushes and stuff here and there, <laughs> um, maybe where I hide lighting in, but I'll do the whole grass thing, I'll do the, not the whole grass, uh, I'll do the whole <laughs> deal where you hide the, um, glowstone in the ground underneath a leaf block, speaking of which, we're gonna be, be getting a lot of leaf blocks soon. <laughs> Assuming I don't have any already. I was gonna work on this this episode too. Um, so let me just grab all my oak wood. I'm gonna be. Uh, yeah, I got a few vines. I'll. You, I'm just gonna make a temporary little vine farm over vine farm over here. make a little temporary vine farm. We can put some tr vines in the tree. I don't know if it'll necessarily look good, but we can just, oh, we can always try. Anywho, uh, let's go chop down some trees. Um, yeah, and then I'm thinking, like, for that area, uh, pro tips, like, not just for me, but, uh, B00 and people like him, big builders that I look up to, um, they say, uh, just adding, a. I'm not going to be doing all types of leaves, actually, because a mixture of all types of leaves looks really good. Ah, uh, so... I don't want to go too overboard. Um, but... Um, they say, like, uh, just ra adding random stone blocks. I'm going to work this area, work around this area. I like just adding really little things. Little things that can go so far, like... Maybe hidden lighting, or, uh, not hidden lighting, but, um, not just hidden lighting, but, I don't know, like, uh, bushes and stuff. Even though this is a plains area, they could still have bushes. I wonder how much, uh-oh, one second. Alright, sorry about that, just got a phone call. Anywho, as I was saying, I just like adding really little things that can go so far to improve what an area looks like. I think we actually, yeah, my shoes just broke. Gonna need a little bit more wood, actual uh, wood than this. I wanna make a, um, maybe even a wither powered tree farm, although that's definitely for the future. When I have more than one wither skull. I don't know if I told you this yet, but uh, in that nether port fortress I found and died right by, did some exploring in that, and I actually got a wither skull, which is really surprising. So uh, maybe I'll be fighting my first legitimate survival wither because that one that me and Tyler did on the realm. I don't think that would really count since we had keep inventory on and uh, super invincible diamond armor that we I think we might have used through cheats or whatever I forget that old round was okay it's fun it was really fun but as far as cheats go I think we did that a little bit too much I am gonna be regrowing most of these trees although I'm gonna be doing the it's got it's, it's kind of called um I don't know who exactly came up with the idea, but I call them, or not just I call them, they are generally called Etho Trees, because, uh, <laughs> Minecraft, the Minecrafter YouTuber, Etho, Etho's Lab, you know who he is, <laughs> uh, he hides lights in his trees a lot, and they actually have a really good effect, so I think I'm gonna be doing that, that's what a lot of people do, I don't know if it was him that did it, but that's just what I've heard them being called in the past. So I think that's actually all I need. <laughs> Might need a little bit more than that, but I just want to get started on it first. Um, <laughs> nice wide trunk. Not that good at tree building, or by not that good, I mean I've never really tried. <laughs> There's something I don't like about using I, it's something I don't like about using, uh, like, wood planks and stuff is that, um, you know, you can actually see the ends of them. Although, I'm just gonna try this, like, kind of just wing it. See if I can, uh, no plans for this. 
not based off of it's only based off the Lord of the Rings tree, and I just thought it'd be like be like a neat thing for my village to have. Not like the silver tree of Gondor, although in the books they did bring back a sapling from one of those. So Minecraft is kind of like real life or fantasy that you can grow trees from saplings. <laughs> I think the roots are coming along nicely. It's good to work on the actual tree. So that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pause right here and <laughs> chop down a ton more trees and. I do want to do some terraforming in this area. Maybe after the tree, I'll just work on making this area look nice. Do some hidden lighting. The wheat fields are only going to go up to about there. You probably won't even pass through the barrier of the ravine. <laughs> so, yeah. I think that's probably enough. <laughs> this is going to be a pretty decent sized tree. Oh, I also figured out a lot of other cool things to do. Uh, should I talk about them now or go spoilers on you? Or I won't. I think I can wait. I do want to try doing things like this, where you have like knots in the tree. So here we can extend out one of the branches. That'll be like one. There'll be like uh, picnic benches. This can be maybe we can set up like a little festival area or something. I guess like the circus comes to the village or whatever. Got to start transferring villagers from that other place I found over to this village. I think the tree's actually coming along nicely for a first timer. Like myself, who really does not have that much experience building natural things. I'm actually running out of wood already. I don't think it needs to be too big. Like four four uh four branches, like five eight maybe five. Yeah, I think this is actually going to work out. We can start doing leaves, and it's already getting nighttime. Hmm. Oh, no, it's not, is it? I don't know. Well, it's getting kind of close. My eyes deceive me. But we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're going to want to be really careful when working up here. So, <laughs> let's do, like, uh, every once in a while, I'll do birch leaves. We can just flip them around every once in a while. They don't look that... Leaves don't look that great, but I think in a big, like, they're kind of lost their color in this, uh, in the fields area, <laughs> like in the plains biome, but, uh, I think if they're just in such large, grouped together in such large numbers, and I'm just totally going random here, because I think that's how trees work, they just grow leaves wherever they want, and we can go back and take a look at the rest of them later. Maybe I could throw in some spruce leaves. I really like using jungle leaves on my builds. Uh, but we don't have any of those. Maybe I could go in and do some spruce leaves. Dark oak leaves don't look that different. They're just a little bit darker, I suppose. I don't know. Yeah, tree building, and I've never even tried before, and I think this is actually turning out okay for my first try. Can't really tell. From the top of the tree, it looks great. I don't know if I'm saying that. I honestly don't know myself if I'm saying that out of, like, modesty or... Not, not modesty, like, because I want it to look good or I'm lying to myself. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. I'll figure something out once I get back to the ground. Figure out a legitimate conclusion. Although so far I do legitimately think it's actually doing good. I should probably. Uh, let me just go through and fill this a little bit better, and then uh, I can actually. See what it looks like from the bottom. This needs to be a little bit more connected. I kind of know how it works since I spend a lot of time uh, watching building videos, of course. And I have to sacrifice that sacrifice that leaf. Uh, I watch a lot, spend a lot of time watching bi building videos, and I see actual tree builds. <laughs> Let me just see how that looks.
Ah, that's actually not how I imagined it. I'm going to want to make the trunk a little bit wider. Although, <laughs> let me just check this out from a distance. I think that actually looks alright. Not as big as I thought it would be. And, um, yeah, not how I thought it would be, but that looks okay. Got to cover it up a little bit more and maybe add a little bit more to the trunk or something. <laughs> Whatever the case, I think I've done good for now. I think I'm just going to pause right here, finish that tree, and take a look at that, and maybe get to work on some hidden lighting and stuff. I actually forgot I had these leaves in my inventory, so I don't really need to make more shears. <laughs> Silly me, but I do need more wood. So I kind of changed up the trunk a little bit, and I'm going to add more leaves before I start throwing vines on there. I think the vines are actually going to make it look pretty good. Right now the tree is actually looking pretty bare from <laughs> the, uh, yeah, looking up at it, it's actually kind of bare. It's okay for a first timer I'd say but not really the greatest I did hide some glowstone up there uh, I think that'll actually make it look good but yeah not great not exactly how I expected it went to be but I think it does the trick so might actually need some more leaves see here. Some more of this. Yeah, I definitely need to cover most or even all of this, of this just random uh, trunk at, around it, all this random wood. It's actually coming together quite nicely now. I think we can just use that. Yeah, it actually came together quite well. Uh, there's a few things I want to change, but I think we can actually start throwing the vines on there. I know they're going to grow down and maybe be really annoying and weird, but I think they'll do the trick. I might just bring the three together where they could tear it apart. Dun dun dun, cliche. Yep. Yeah. Uh, just, just like, just, just standing there, not, not growing at all. They actually look okay. Not how I expected it to turn out, and not how I necessarily wanted it to turn out, but I think it does the trick. Yeah, that actually works. I like it. Kind of weird. More of a natural tree. Alright, so. Let's actually go grab some more leaves. We're going to be using exclusively oak leaves for this one. Might even grab some bone meal, too. Um, because the paths aren't going to be expanding too much further. I might do a little bit more path work, although I'm completely out of granite. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's get on to the hidden lighting part of it. I think I'll just actually show you guys kind of how it's done. I don't really do hidden lighting. I haven't really done it before, although now I realize it's a really good way to keep the mobs away, and it's actually probably best to do it at night. <laughs> I'll do a little bit during the day, just to see what it's like. I don't want to put them too close to each other to call attention to it. So, hidden lighting. Should I do bushes? I might do bushes later. I want to choose a... Like this, since these are the planes. <laughs> yeah, that's hidden lighting. <laughs> since these are the planes, I might want to choose... Um, I might want to choose, like, a different... Like, a kind of like a blah mater uh, material, or maybe even jungle, because that looks like it has berries on it. <laughs> but since it's a plains, I want the bushes to be kind of uh, more scraggly and stuff. I'm not, I don't know. Ooh, there's already lighting underneath there. I don't want to make him lighting too often. Just meant to make sure it lights up. <laughs> we should actually probably wait till night to do this. Sun is starting to set. <laughs> um, I'll do a little bit now. I think I should just wait till the sun to set so I can determine what areas need it most. In the meantime, actually, I should <laughs> uh, continue making the path over to the farm area. I don't want to actually like make the path, but I'll um 
crap, I should probably put like another layer underneath this of dirt. <laughs> well, maybe not even just make the path, just to dig it out, so I know the general air is going to follow. Yeah, I should cover this in. Uh, once it gets nighttime, we can keep on doing the hidden lighting. We can actually just perfectly follow this part right here. <laughs> I want the path to run right next to the ravine. Oh no, there's going to be sheep trapped in there. Well, you shall not pass. This is the Lord of the Rings thing we're actually kind of going along with this episode. You're going to have to die. Uh, there's iron down there. Hmm. Alright, so keep on going. This plan... How close is it going to be night? Not close enough. Alright, I'm just going to pause until it's night time and then I'll do some more hidden lighting. Just a really quick thing, I was wondering, as cool as this whole look is, I was wondering if I should switch this out, maybe even this out with a dire and diorite, I think that's the, uh, the, the white stuff. <laughs> uh, probably won't though, but this, I was wondering if I should switch out this out with quartz. Let me know that in the comments. Alright, uh, gonna be night time. <laughs> See where we need lighting. I'm not gonna kill any more sheep because I gotta save it. Um, not gonna put too much by these paths though, or shouldn't need to. We had tons of bone meal. I'm gonna make this a lush grassland. <laughs> I think this area is doing pretty good on the lighting department. Uh not right here. Let's throw one down right here. Actually, works pretty well. Over here, I think we need some. That was an accident. Did not mean to place that down. Oh, that was tall grass. Let's not do too much tall grass for now. I think we need more right here. No, I'm putting this really close to the path where it might be obvious, but maybe I shouldn't be doing it so close to the path. I'm just doing it in areas where that really need it. Close to the path, I could put in another torch light. Yeah, this area down here is going to need some. The glowstone on the tree is not doing as good as I thought it would. <laughs> Although, to be honest, I think we're actually com almost completely mob-proofed this area. Not half slabbing. No, we won't do any half slabbing business. No, not completely. It looks like there's still some areas outside of it. Let's just stick to the areas around the path for now. Because I don't know how far exactly the wheat fields are going to go. That's why I wasn't doing this in the past. I didn't know how far the wheat fields were going. There. That's working. more over here. There. <laughs> over here. We're gonna I think we're actually just gonna cover that up or we'll do something to fix that. I was gonna put a cabin out here or something, like with horse stables and stuff. That I can do like a horse breeding thing. The official like royal horse royal horse stables shall be located in the, uh, no, I said shall be, just fancy, yeah, those are going to be located in the, uh, actual castle area, but, uh, I might just have, uh, some more horse breeding areas out here, <laughs> running low on glowstone, not exactly on glowstone dust, <laughs> just on glowstone in general. Um, well, just on the actual blocks, I mean. So, don't know how much longer we're going to do this. <laughs> looking good, though, looking good. A fully illuminated area at night might be kind of weird, and it is kind of busy with all the flowers and stuff. Double creeper attack. You better not gr blow up, you jerk. Here. Boom. Ooh, 25. 
Might do some enchanting soon. I'll leave alone some of the areas that I'm planning on terraforming. But yeah, I guess this is kind of a... Remember how we did the fixing the place up on realms? I might do a thing similar to this on realms where I just go around and throw down hidden lighting. I mean, having the whole area lit up at night, it doesn't exactly seem quite, like, natural, or right? But I think it's okay for these situations, because then there's, sometimes there's dark areas. <laughs> you don't quite catch, and then those just look like crap. But, I don't know, I think we're actually doing pretty good. Just another one right here. We could throw it on the stone. Um, I think we're almost done. Oh, an area right here. I want, like, no dark areas, because any dark areas, when there are light areas, just suck. So, yeah, I think I'm going to be done for now. Or maybe I'll just put down some more over here. If I need to move the hidden lighting, so be it. Oh my god, baby zombies. I hate baby zombies. There's evil. Evil little creatures. Worst mob in the game. Even harder than bosses to defeat if you're in a tall grass area. Well, not harder than bosses. Haven't got more health necessarily. There's a creeper over there. You stay back. Oh, that's not what was supposed to happen. There. And then by the wall, I think we're actually going to have lit up. So I think right here could use some. Uh, oh gosh, no, 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 that was a close one. I think at this point, I'm going to just take a step back, observe, <laughs> hard episodes work. Didn't get too much done this episode, gotta do some pin lighting within the city as well. Uh, yeah, definitely gotta light this area up, mob proof it. I think I'm gonna sleep until daytime, and then, um, show you what it is, and then I'll be done. Got to put a pressure plate right there to make it easier. All right. And uh, skeleton <laughs> mobs are dying before they can get to cover. <laughs> Let me just do a traditional old dirt pillar. Could have done this at night just to see if I missed any spots. Although for now. I think this area looks wonderful. <laughs> it could use a little bit of improvement. We're going to make these woods over here a lot thicker. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna, I have some really cool ideas for these mountains over here. <laughs> uh, those, the wheat fields are going to spread really far. We're going to have to look over our wall in the city. There's a creeper over there. Let's see if we can snipe him. I think at this point... Oh, I actually got him. I'd like to... Thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, definitely hit that like, bu that like button down below. If you didn't, leave a comment telling me what I should have done differently. Or just leave comments telling me what I should have done differently. Even if you did enjoy. Uh, become a little bro. Please subscribe. And uh, again, thank you guys all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next episode. Bye.